hello it's Sarah and I am working on inchies again this is a mixed media inchie uh, book I'm gonna make so inchie books are these little books that I've been creating they can be any style or you know hand-drawn stamped painted whatever you want to do this one's entangled and then it's made by two by two it's made of two by two twin cheese and then inside I put my inchies like so they're a little bit framed in there and you make a little book so I have about seven of them so far but today in the previous video I created the backgrounds for this mixed media inchies I'm gonna do and we did complementary colors so I have a book that I'm gonna do in red and a book in green and blue and on this book we're gonna do we're gonna put the red inchies so that they stand out so I'm gonna create my cover in a minute but we're gonna create these inchies and I've been looking and pulling and seeing what I have in my stash to use at first I thought I was gonna do these little stamps but I, I wasn't so keen on those I thought no we just put so much work into these backgrounds I want this to be really cool and then I found these Tim Holtz rub-ons and I've had them forever I have three different sets um, and I think these might have been on clearance somewhere because you see the red um, tag this is mostly words um, but the, this is what I'm going to be working with right now and I tried that one out the eye I already used the eye on this one but there's plenty of other stuff that I can put on and all I need is four inches each book holds four inches so I've got my eye on you now <laughs> and I'm just using my what is this called I don't even remember what this is called bone folder um, and so I'm gonna pick a few of these rub-ons I've never done rub-ons guys this is so cool I gotta have the B I'm loving the B now the thing is you gotta be careful because if it sticks I'm going to put this on here and then I'm going to stick my inchy under and I kind of chose some that I really I don't love the uh, I like this one let's see. Uh, 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 I can't choose I can't make decisions all right so which way do I want them to go just like that and basically you just rub the part that you want to go onto your inchy now if you watch the previous video we collaged some papers onto the background which I covered up pretty much I knew I would and so it's bumpy and I'm just hoping that this adheres or it grabs so let's see what we get it looks like I got it I got the little B. All right. What else do we want? I love these guys. I might have to put them on my cover though. I don't know. I, I oh, you know what though? I think the hot air balloon could go on the cover. How about this hand? The pointing hand. He's small. Let's put him on here. Uh oh, he's not going to fit. I'm going to have to turn him sideways. Or I could just put the little one. I think I'll put the little one. Ooh, and the poison. <gasps> There's such cool things on here. You really got to look because they're tiny. And that's the fun because we're doing inches. Tiny works. Ooh, how about the hand? Talk to the hand. It's a little big. Ah, I love the hand. You know, I'm not the best at making decisions. So, what's it going to be, Sarah? The crown fits. Let's do the crown. It's a little crooked. Hold on. Oh, and I want to make sure. Yeah, hold on. I don't want these to, it's sticky. The background is sticky, so if it sticks to other paper, I'll lose the the opportunity to, to 
use that one. So I just want to put this under here. And maybe I'm being a little too perfectionistic, but I want the image to show up. It looks like I hit the butterfly, so I might get part of the butterfly. Nope, just the crown. I got the crown. I love them. This is good. And then we'll just do some doodling or something around the um, edges. Um, and then I just need one more. I really wish I could get that hand. The butterflies are awesome. Who doesn't love them? I love these guys. I could fit. I could fit them. I'm going to put the guys up up on the bot up on the bottom. On the bottom. And um if some hangs off, that's okay. But I'm going to put the guys right here. I think it looks good when I rub it like that. Okay. I got my guys. I did. What can I put above? Now, this one has a bunch of words. So I could come back and add a word or two. Probably should have thought of that ahead of time. Um, wow. These are so cool. I think above them... I'm going to put I have an itch. Ooh, look what's on this one. Numbers. Mostly numbers. Admit one. I like these words, but you know what I also have or yeah, I could use these is all the chit chat, the small talk. I have these so I could put some of them on. I just don't want to block the background. So that's why I like these rub ones because they're not blocking all that um, mixed media work that we did. So I'll just put, how about a pen nib? I could, I'm gonna put a word. Let's put a word. Is there a word on here? Uh, no. All right, so that's all I really need is four but we're oh let's do the cover so the cover is going to be on the blue and I think I'm going to use the hot air balloon I really like this the um what is that called the flourish I have this other flourishy thing I have so much stuff guys like I've gotten a lot of this stuff on clearance when it's on sale. Look, this is just love. Create a life you love. Live, love, laugh, happiness, joy, love, and flowers and hearts and love. Um, but let's just stick with the Tim Holtz theme here. Um, I like the hot air balloon. I think I'm going to go with that, and we're going to put it over here. Oh, wow, I love the birds. <gasps> I just saw the birds. All right, well, let's just do... The hot air balloon. Make sure we get it all in there. Over here. And I'm really giving it a good rub because, like I said, if you, well, if you didn't watch the other video, we Mod Podged on collage papers. I used all black and white papers, but they really didn't show up. But it's bumpy. It has a bumpiness to it, the background. So it's not smooth and I'm just making sure that this is going to adhere 
so far so good seems like these are very good quality because I've had them a while for sure all right let's see how it worked oh no I don't want the hand talk to the hand I don't want the hand oh no some of the hand some of the hand see but I think you can push it back on so the hand came off a little bit but maybe I'll be able to use it for something else yeah like a little bit of this came on here but that's okay we got the hot air balloon and then maybe I'll put a word or what's on the other one something going down because my um, yeah, definitely. I could probably cut this apart too. Explore life. Oh, I like that. And look, there's a stick in here. Let me try and use this stick. Maybe this stick works better. But I think explore life is awesome. And then there's just time, wish, love, hope. I like explore life. Maybe that would be a good idea. And you know what you could do? You could probably cut them out and then you won't, um, collection, time. Why does it say that? Travel. Travel would be cool but it's too big. I don't have anything else that's um, travel related. I have this. This is a stamp. Travel the world. I wonder, I think that'll fit right there. I'm going to put that I'm going to hope for the best because because I'm stamping it, it's risky, but I'm going to hope for the best and I'm going to put it right up here. Travel the world. Got it. And then down here, I kind of I don't want that on there really, that rub on part. Um, because I could put like a coin or something, some type of a, maybe a, I like this five cents thing. How about this airplane? I don't know. Wait, where's my other one? The one I was working on is this one. Um, maybe I should just put the blueprints there. Look, a little bird came. One of the birds from the birdie, uh, right off the end of the bird. I'm going to try and connect this where it was. I don't know if I can since I couldn't get it off and finish that up. I think it was like right there. The hand, I keep forgetting, and I pushed too hard on the hand, and I got, like, something. Look, something, it was part of the mail. You can pick it off, though. The airmail um, stamp. And then I'll just cut this. So that looks cool. Travel the world. I could put something else here. I might as well just fill it in, you know? Not poison. How about this pack? I like this. Ooh, that stuck to my hands. Manufacture would be cool, but I think I'm going to put this Paris right there.
love it. I love it. All right, and oh, got to cover that up. I don't want that to dry out. So I have four little inches. I didn't finish him. I want to put something on top, maybe some words. Uh, the B, so you got to be careful with these because they're sticky. Okay. The B, the three dudes. What should I put up above the three dudes? Words. I like explore life, but that's too big. How about hope? I love hope. Hope's a good word. We're fly, but I like hope. And see, I'm going to try something. I'm just going to cut this out, and that way I don't have to worry about um, all the other ones near it getting stuck. I could get I have no nails at all all right cool I love that there are little words oh you can't tell I'm putting that right here I love it and then I have one. I have them stuck all over to me. That's a shame because they were good. Oh, that didn't come off. It kind. I think it. You can tell that it came off. That it adhered if the black disappears. But because I did it on. Okay. Um, good. Look at that. I love it. All right. It's so fun for me when I haven't used something, because I wouldn't buy it if I didn't love it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I only buy it because I love it and I like it. So, OMG, look at that. That is so cool. I don't even think I need to do anything to it. I love the eye too. Like that's pretty much just the way it is. I love the cover. The architecture, travel the world. All right. Now the crown and the bee. Should I do anything to them? I don't think it needs it. I really don't. OMG. This little crown might fit on the bee's head. Let me see. I'm going to cut this out. Let's see if this little crown, it might be too big. Is there a smaller one? I don't see a smaller one. I'm putting it there. I'm just going to put it there because it fits. I hope it adheres. Yep. It's like he's holding it. It's a little big, but I like it. Um, there's other room on here, and there's room on here. I think a word. A word is in order. How about... I could put fly on this one. Because these are so small. Be daring, have courage, and perfection. Seek the good. Oh, I love that. From the heart. How about... I keep saying how about... Be true. I like be true. Free to fly. <gasps> Will that fit? I'm putting that. I like free to fly. Under the bay. If it fits. I think it's going to fit. Yep. It's going to fit. I get excited. I'm sorry. Um, but, basically, 
I'm just happy that I got to use stuff that I've had forever. It's been sitting here waiting for a home. And tomorrow, I'm going to do more inches. I'm going to do shabby chic. And I think I'm going to decorate this. See how I did this um, pizza box? I have inchy stuff in here. This is all the other mixed media pieces that I just did. Well, I'm going to do one of these to keep inchies in. And I'm going to decorate it all shabby chic because I think these shabby chic ATC, I'm sorry, inchies are going to be a little bit dimensional. So I may put some flowers on there that stick up and so I think it would be nice to have to keep them in there. So I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Actually, maybe not tomorrow. I have to do stuff tomorrow. Have to do stuff. I can get all the tea. Whoop, there we go. I love it. <gasps> Free to fly. I love it. What should I put on the eye? Anything? I don't need anything. And the crown, I could put something. Seek the good, shine brightly. See, seek the good might be good for this. Let's see if it'll fit. Can't find it. Seek the good. It'll fit. And the letters are just a nice little font, so it's not overwhelming. I could have moved the eye up, see, instead of centering it. And this has definitely got a bump. I think I'll put it on top. Oh, it might not fit. I'm going to have to move the, the word a little closer. I could put seek the and good on the bottom. That's what I'm going to do. Seek the. And good. Maybe even put it over here. Huh? Yeah, babe, I'm on, I'm making a video. Oh, okay. What's up? I'll push pause. Hold on. Seek the good. Seek the good, Matt. It's a bit dusty. Seek it. Could be anything to catch. Pause it around. Yeah, hold on. Ah, oh, my G. My G, see, because it was a bump. The paper was a bump there. My G. My G didn't come off, right? Took my G. Because I'm doing um, rub-ons. Mm -hmm. And I'm no pro at rubbing on things, evidently. But it's because the paper is... Um, there we go. I got my G. Seek the good. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, let me go in. I... Kiwi's calling me. I chose Dream Big, and I decided that it's much easier. I shouldn't have peeled off the whole thing. Just leave it on there and try to cut around and cut things and leave it on the backing, and then you won't lose. Because I lost the hand. Look, a piece of the finger came off. I lost this airmail or whatever it said. So, it's easier and better if you just cut around things like this. So I'm designing the um, other cover, but I'm going to finish this dream big. I'm going to put above the uh, crown. Sorry, I'm. I like to make it straight. And it's a little, whoa, see if you push too hard. All right. 
Just get it on there. Start pushing and then it'll I can tell that there's some bumpiness and paper. Maybe using rub-ons isn't the best when it's been collaged. It should probably be a smooth background, but I'm putting a good amount of pressure on here. It should stick. I see big stuck. There we go. Dream big, and then I'm going to put this Harlequin pattern underneath the crown just because I like it. Actually, you know what? Let me cut it here so that I don't waste the whole thing. Cut it right there, and I'll use this section. And maybe two rows will be good. I have my little tweezers out here somewhere. <coughs> I love these for grabbing these little things. right there uh, uh, it has sticky stuff on it so this was fun I'm so happy because I used my stuff that I didn't use yet and I had it and it whoop perfect You can cut it off or it's fine, but look, dream big. So this is pretty much my ATCs. Dream big, hope, seek the good, and free to fly. So I am going to now adhere those to my book. And you know, we could um, actually first I'm going to use my big sharpie and I'm going to just mark the edge not necessary probably and if you do it with a little bit of an angle down some of it gets on the front but I think that looks good with the mixed media so I'm going to do that I'll probably I could use paint to do the covers because they're much thicker but I can do them after but if I'm gonna adhere these I wanted to get this done before you glue them to the pages and I think I might want to Mod Podge I think once I get although now that I've put this on Mod Podge might make it run it's good to know all that stuff but I don't no, all the time. Alright, that looks more finished. And my cover, let me just try this with the marker. <gasps> so you don't want to do that. Oop, you don't want to see if there's Mod Podge on it. You can kind of, um, I usually have a. Well, that's fine. But. I don't want to do that. Just take my time and I can do it without messing it up. But yeah, I think it looks better with a black edge. Definitely. All right. So when you open it up, I'm going to glue that to that. See, paint would get in these nooks and crannies because if your paper isn't the exact same size, there's a little gap in between. And this one, it was only on one of the sides, right here. The paper, so I'll try and do it this way. I 
got it. So that looks good. And then I'll put Dream Big. I love them all. They're so cool. So let me glue these. And I'm just using my Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive, which is on my desk. My desk is a mess. I can see the Mod Podge. I'll be right back. Oh, it fell down. <laughs> Sorry. So uh, this is where I'll use my um, tweezers. They're Cutter B tweezers. They're really good for this type of stuff when you're placing things like this because you can hold the tweezers and line it up. Make sure you're not upside. Whoop, I was upside down. And I just eyeball it. Give it a press. I'll use a tissue. Or not, or not a butt wipe. I call them butt wipe, sorry. Baby wipe. Get that adhered. And then this one. Oh, see that? I'll glue that back down. Because the, um, if you watched the previous video, you saw I wasn't real careful with my Mod Podge. So there's a couple places that are probably not um, <clears throat> stuck down. I thought I went back and really kind of checked, but I missed this part. So I'm just going to put that like that and give it a press. Flip it over and we'll put... I like these so much. I'm so happy with this little. I see the thing is what. <clears throat> why I get so excited is, cause I'm just winging it. When I make this, I'm just seeing what's gonna happen. So you're right along with me. It's like I I never did it before. Like I mean I've made inchy books, but never a mixed media inchy book. And I didn't know I was going to use these rub-ons. I just went looking through my stash to look for like little stamps or something. I knew I wanted something little. Well, obviously, if it's an inchy, right? But uh, the rub-ons are perfect. And you know, I'll bet a lot of you guys have them in your stash too. So you can make these inchies. OMG, stop it. Stop it. They're so cute. I can't take it. Can't take it. I can even put one on the back. Nah, I'll sign it. I'll sign it on the back. On a couple on my um Zentangled ones, I um made a Zentangle on the back. And then I didn't have a place to sign it. So I think I signed it on the one of the inside pages. What did I do? See, I entangled the whole back. Yeah, so I signed it over there. Because on the other ones, I was signing it on the back. So I'll probably do that on this one, too. OMG. I love this one. I think I have a new favorite. There's a new favorite in the house because the Zentangle ones were definitely my faves. I have so many, but I love this one too. OMG. All right, let me focus. Focus, Sarah. Um, so I'm going to go away and finish my other book. Okay, so basically this is done. Well, I have to put the black. But I want to finish the other book and then I'm going, so you can just see them both um, before I go. But we have to just punch holes and add jump rings, basically. Um, whoa, see I don't like when I fall off, when I fall off the edge. But see that should come off because I had Mod Podge, but oh, I did it. Okay. 
So that's the back. And then, ugh, if my glue is dry, I will go like this and frame it. I don't know what my husband's drilling. Oh, I do know. We have on my front porch where we hang um, plants and uh, flowers, and I have um, flower boxes and stuff. He created um, irrigation for them so that I don't forget to water them and they don't get all sad looking. And so he, there was only one. We have four different hooks that I hang plants from and they all have a, a watering tube that comes down out of the soffit and um, waters the plants for me. I think it's every other day like he sets it to go on when the um, when the spring oh dear Kirby it's daddy it's her oh, she just wakes up and like hears a noise and freaks out anywho when the sprinklers go on it waters the plants and I'll tell you what I haven't had any dead plants since he did that so there was one and we I got fuchsia this year you know fuchsia and I have two fuchsias out there and one of my fuchsias is looking good and one's not because there wasn't for some reason he just didn't do the third one now why is this looking kind of drab I don't know travel the world I really don't want to do anything to it I just don't I could like this is what I was thinking of doing I could do this to all the pages too. Like just make a border. This is the back, so that's why I'm kind of framing it out. And I could do that to the front. Maybe that'll look better. But I could do that on all the pages too. See, I did it. Um, I like the way it looks. See how it, it just makes a frame. Let me see if I did it to all of them. Yeah. I've done it to all of them so far, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I didn't do it to this one. This one's one where I used um, jelly prints. So I just outlined the inchy. But I did and I put black paint on the um let me see if I did this one. Yeah, see I did this one. This was like jelly plate printed um dictionary pages. So um it's just a matter of personal preference. I'm going to sign my name. You guys, I'm so pleased with how this turned out. It's crazy. Like, I don't know, for some reason I think this needs the red, too. That's what it needs, right? I think I'm going to frame it. I think it does need something red on the front. Hmm, what could I do red? I mean, I could just put like red stickles would probably um make the whole the black disappear. So I probably don't want to do that. Man, I love the contrast. Isn't that cool? All right, sorry. I'm going to go away, and I'm going to do the red book, and we'll come back, and we'll bind them all together. Be right back. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is punch our holes. I already finished this one. Let's zoom in, and I'm already working on another one. I'm going to do this um, boho one. Um, I just have to stencil my backgrounds, but... I will show you this. I just did Explore Life, and I'm sure I could go around it with pens and different things, but I don't think I'm, I'm just leaving it as is. And then Imagine with the butterflies. And then this one says Rise Above. It has a small little finger pointing up and the birds on the wire. And admit one with like the film strip and that says fly and that's it so these are my two I well we have to 
punch this. I'm just finishing this video, guys. So I gotta. I just like to to punch it in the center, and then equal equal uh, distance from the end. Then I take my pencil and I measure the other ones, make sure they're even, make a little hole, and then this one too. And I tried putting in the biggest, my biggest jump rings, and I, it's it's not working with the biggest jump ring. So I'm just gonna um and thank you, Peggy for your advice on my crop it out. All you have to do if the little thing gets stuck in there is turn it over and like pull, pull the trigger again and, and you pop it out. So I have two, then this one. Because I can look through the hole and see the little circle that I drew. And, and that way you get your holes all lined up and perfect. So I am going to cover, use my needle nose pliers and my flat nose pliers. And I don't know, someone asked what size jump rings these are. I showed it in the very first video that I uh, did. It was a pack of three different, or four different sizes, I think. No, I think three different sizes. Um, and I don't know what sizes they were. I just picked, and I was thinking at the time that I should have brought some inches, or a two, or um, twinchies at least, or one of the books, or so that I could measure and see if it would be appropriate. But um, I also had some jump rings that ended up being just fine, these. They're a little more, a little smaller, and they're a little more of a high, high polish. That's what I put them with that. But um, yeah, I think. But I have no idea. Like I guess it's millimeters or something like that. But there's a gauge to them too because these are actually kind of thick. I picked them because I liked the metal color. I wanted it a little more rustic, like more uh, antique looking than high polished. Um, and this is what Michael's had. My Joann's has a much better bead section. Um, and I haven't had a chance to get over there, but I'll go see what they have at uh, Joann's next time I get a chance. And um, I'll try to let you know what the exact size they were but I mean like if I were to measure this with a ruler here's one it's a half an inch I mean I would say it's a half an inch square ish right and the gauge it's a pretty thick gauge too so that's that's what I could tell you so there we go. This one says travel the world. There's Paris, a little like uh, mail, hope, dream big. I love the blackness of those rub offs. Seek the good and free to fly with our bee with a little crown. Oh my gosh. I love these. These are so cool. I might go over travel the world, but I don't want to mess it up because that was stamped and that's not t looking as black as the other s stamping I did. But I love them. So cool. So see how they're showing up so nicely because we did complementary colors. So we did, um, in the previous video, I showed you how we did the backgrounds. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.